Let's do 10 Swedish words, Legend of Zelda. Oi! My name is not Sven, it is Martin, yeah. Yes, let's talk about Legend of Zelda, but first, let's talk about italki. Italki is my collaborator when it comes to the first day uploads here on the Swedish Lad. And italki is a service you can use if you want to improve your learning skills at a much faster pace than, say, picking up a book or doing audio stuff, because this one is interactive. It's you and as teacher, a native speaker of the language you choose. And if you choose to get on board and maybe pick up a language or learn a whole new one, you could go down in the description of this video and you'll see a special offer uh, that I've gotten from the good people at italki. All right, so let's talk about Legend of Zelda. Speaking of the weird motion I just did, uh, in the original Legend of Zelda game, there are three types of swords. There is Träsverdet, there is the Vita Sverdet, and then there is Mesta Sverdet. Badass sword. Other types of weapons and protection is En Schöld. Link also have, uh, he has a uh, Peel Boge. He can use En Bomb. But in order to find his way around, he must have En Korta. And in order to get to certain places, he needs En Stege. And he also needs life, and the life bar is in the form of hearts. So he needs et hjerta to fill up the pieces uh, in order for him to stay alive. And the last of the 10 Swedish words, Legend of Zelda is en magisk nyckel. You need a key to open doors in order to move on to capture the Triforce and beat Ganon, Ganondorf at the very end. So, question to you, how many of you have actually played the original Legend of Zelda game to, uh, on the NES? Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and please leave a comment with a question of any sorts and I will see you the next time you click on one of my videos.